Hi, my name is David Lewis Moroni. I'm one of the senior coaches here at Bishopsgate Golf Academy. And today I just want to talk a little bit about one of the one of the areas that we work really hard on here at Bishopsgate. And one of the things I see with students is that how they can transfer what they've learned on a dry range or a practice situation onto the golf course. Uh, so there's usually a, a quite a big disconnect in this area. So students seem to do well on the dry range, they're hitting the ball well, boom, 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 hitting those seven irons, lovely. And then they come onto the golf course, they've got a seven iron in their hand, maybe with a par three, and they produce a shot which is nothing like they've trained. So a lot of that comes back to is how the, the student is trained. You know, they've probably been in a situation on the dry range where they've hit, you know, 57 irons in a row and they've got very comfortable in that situation. And when they come to the golf course, obviously they've got one shot to produce that result. So here at Bishopsgate, what we like to do is just understand that if we're coming into a tournament, the students, when they're training, they've got to make sure that their training try to, tries to simulate golf on the golf course as much as possible. So we do a lot of things like on the dry range, they might only get, um, we'll say we'll do a circuit, for example, as a circuit would include, okay, they've got to hit a driver between two targets, and then they move, maybe they've got to hit a wedge into a green, and we've got a target area there, and then if they successfully do that, then they may move on to a time, where they've got to hit a draw around a tree, for example. So, with during that, that circuit, if they fail, then they would have to come back to the start. So it just increases the intensity level, just gets them a little bit better prepared for tournament golf compared to the standard situation where they're just firing balls, you know, constantly one after the other, what we call sort of rake and hit. And then the other thing which massive advantage we have here at Bishopsgate is that the golf course is strictly for the students in the afternoon. So we can create many sort of games out on the golf course and really transfer the ability that they've, or sorry, the, the techniques that they've improved on the dry range onto the golf course in a golf course scenario. And you know things that we do is that we might set up a challenge where uh, they have to play the hole. For example, if they make a par, then we create an up and down situation. If they get a par, they have two chances to get that ball up and down. If they make a bogey, they only get one chance to get the ball up and down. And if they make a double bogey or fail to get either of those balls up and down, they have to go back to the tee and replay the hole. And that's a great advantage of having the golf course just strictly to ourselves. We can do those challenges where the students can just go backwards and forth. It can take them maybe half an hour to play one of the holes. Uh, you know, in most facilities that you've got, you've got members coming through, for example, and you can't do those sort of games on the golf course. So we have a great advantage here at Bishopsgate in that factor.